Here is Poppin' Playboys, welcome back to another video, man. In today's video, we're gonna be finally filling up Dusty on some E85. Right now, she has 25 miles left in the tank before E. Uh, usually before, before like it actually tells you how much miles you have left, it's gonna say zero, but usually you have like a two or three tanks, not tanks, two or three gallons of, of gas left. So I'm gonna run it out completely, like past zero, and uh, hopefully that gets me to at least like E85. Um, if it doesn't, then I'm just gonna keep driving until I get to E85 until it says that. Um, yeah, we're basically finished with the 93 tune. Um, I didn't want to record all that because basically it's the same pulls over and over and over. So I don't want to, you know, bore you guys with the same stuff. But today, man, we have to put E85 in Dusty. Something I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. And uh, I just put the calibration that he sent me on. If you guys don't uh, know who Zosh Tuning is or Zosh Tune, Yosh Tune, that's a Zosh. Yosh Tune or Josh, aka Josh. I'm going to put a little clip of him, you know, banging on some gears on his RSX. If you guys want to go get tuned by him, use code Zuvi, save you some money. Say I sent you, and he's gonna hook you up with a little discount. But yeah, man, let's get into the video, let's get into the driving, let's go to the gas station, fill Dusty up on some E, boy. Let's get it. I don't know if you guys can see her, but oh, yeah, you guys can see her. I got my little girl here, my baby girl here. She here to experience the tuning process with me. She's gonna be my tuner for right now. Uh, her job is to press data log, and uh, when I told her to, to like turn it off, she just pressed data log again and turn it off. Like you did before. Remember doing that? Mm -hmm. So yeah, man. Now we go to the gas station. All right, you guys. So as you guys, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have 22 miles left in the tank. Um, need to get that down to zero. Once we get that down to zero, we'll be ready to put some E85 in this bad boy. Luckily, there's an E85 gas station right around this corner. I think it's, uh, what is this? Yeah, it's E85, E85 station around this corner. So, I'm gonna just keep driving. And I'm um, keep my eye out on those miles because uh, I don't want it to get too low. But I do want it to say zero. The next morning. All right guys, so it's day two now. Uh, yesterday was a terrible day to go look for some E85. Since it was a Sunday and it was already like almost 12 o'clock, all the gas stations around here was closed. Couldn't find any gas station that had E85. I kept finding 93. I found a gas station that had E40, but that's not what I'm looking for. Um, There's a gas station up this road that should actually have E85, because I asked a couple people on Instagram and a lot of people helped me. So, let's head out to there. We should finally have some E85 and Dusty. I have eight more miles in the tank. Uh, usually you have like a mile, not like a mile, but usually you have like an extra gallon or two gallons left just for like precaution. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to run this down to zero, like a little bit past zero. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to have full E85, not like E70 or something like that. But eventually, eventually it'll go back to E85. So yeah, man, we're going to go find an E85 station right now. Let's get it. All right, guys. So we made it to the E85 station, bro. Literally just made it Nothing in the tank, I believe so let's fill her up with some good old-fashioned EA5. I know y'all see that man. Yes, sir Let's go fill her up some E man. Let's get it Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's fill her up, boy. Let's fill her up. Man, I could get used to this. I could get used to this. $25 for 11 gallons of gas. Yes, yes, yes. Do y'all smell that? Damn, I'm black, boy. Y'all smell that? That's the smell of corn. Boy, if you don't... All right, let's start her up. 
Stereo to E10. So I'll probably have to run out that gas a little bit. And it should be reading different. E9. Still E9. Eventually it was it will go up to E85. Still have a little bit of uh still have a little bit of 93 in the system, so uh, most likely I most likely have to run that out. And uh once she's uh completely ran out of 93, then I obviously the ethanol gauge is gonna read higher higher and uh, I'm out of focus. I'm out of focus. There we go. And uh once the ethanol gauge uh picks up the E85, it should be A okay. Alright, man, let's get on driving. since the last clip you guys seen of me getting E85 uh, I'm on my 10th tune um, if you guys if I, I don't know if I explained this to you guys before but um, I didn't want to record every single tune I did because I feel like that's just gonna get repetitive just watching the same tuning process over and over so I just wanted to film everything that I felt like that's uh, exciting so obviously me doing a pull on E85 is gonna be exciting um, I just got my new reflash. I sent him a little dialogue of me driving on 85 and also me doing a third gear pull. So now this is the revision of that last uh of that last revision I sent him. So we're gonna see how she feels. Obviously I have to dialog that and send it to him as well. But the sad part is it is raining. Well drizzling. I'm and I'm trying to beat the rain. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. But it is like 11:20, so there shouldn't be too much people out on the road right now, especially on a Monday morning. I mean, morning, Monday night. Um, yeah, man. So hopefully we could get this going. Oh, 
I can make it make sense when you guys watch it. But uh, this this reflash right now I'm on revision 10. It's a, supposed to be feeling a little bit faster because he added uh, a little bit more degrees of timing. So we're gonna see how she feel. My little pull spot coming up. And bro, even the way the car idles, it idles different. Like, I, I don't know how to explain it. If you guys ever go on E85 or been an E85 car or experienced an E85 car or anything doing with E85 in a car, you guys probably know what I mean. Like, the way it sounds, is like, it sounds different. It sounds calmer. I don't know. But, yeah. We're going to see how she feels, though. I'm actually so happy that I'm going to be doing this pull on E85, bro. Look at this guy. Nut broken. Nut is broken but yeah i'm really really happy that i'm doing a pull on 85 um just because of the benefits that it brings to your car what is wrong with people just because of the benefit it brings to your car like the cooling the extra power you can make it's cleaner for your engine it's cleaner for the environment i don't see why every car isn't made on this gas but Because on 93, it was none of that. You guys see this car right next to me? This car ran two stoplights. I guess because, you know, um, you know, in some lanes it says only able to turn from the right lane. So I'm in the right lane, I'm able to turn. But this car's in the left. And he, she, he or she was like, man, I'm doing whatever he does. And like, every turn that I took, it took it with me. Even though, even though, even though it was in the left lane, luckily there ain't no cops around, or that would have been your butt. And she's driving around with no headlights on. Massachusetts people, boy, I tell you what. Damn, what's going on here? Sheesh, that's a lot of damn cops. Hey man, stay right there. Damn, that's a lot of cops. What the hell? 
about one, two. Oh, damn, that's a lot of, that's different car crashes. What the hell happened? There's a crash car right there. There's two over here. Damn. This guy got his phone out. Huh? I wonder what the hell happened. He telling us to go this way. So you watched us get in this lane to tell us to go this way. Asha. I'll be able to rip it one time. I should be able to rip it. The tool is basically finished. I'm gonna give it one rip, one small rip. days Woo! those pops are ridiculous uh, I'm gonna wait for this car to get out the way cuz just for precaution stuff Again, when it's not this wet outside, it is. It is wet as hell outside. Pause. But all right, you guys, this is where I'm gonna end off the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned to the next video. Follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. And your boy's out. Peace. I'm gonna enjoy this little drive with Dusty. <laughs>